G'day, g'day. How you going? It's time for an Isaac run. No worries. That was me uh, taking the piss out of convicts everywhere. It's a Samson run. It's a daily run. Samson, although we want to not get hit for survivability purposes, as we remember, Samson benefits from being... Ooh, that was close. Benefits from taking damage because it will improve our damage. Not commensurately, but over the course of the floor, for the course of the floor. Let's fight the boss now. It is a, a basement boss. What's the worst could happen? It's Famine. Famine has killed most of its own flies already. Appreciate that. Should only uh, spawn flies, yep, and charges. So if we get here, we can force a charge. Some of the sort of... The easiest tactic here is to just keep shooting it. Um, the kind of secondary tactic is you can cause it to charge like this and then walk into its own flies. It can be effective. It means you can af af afford to avoid paying attention to crowd control. You just, whenever there's a, a couple of things on the screen, cause it to charge. But honestly, why? The flies are so weak. Unless you're playing maybe a, a Maggie run or a really bad Eden start. Most of the time you're going to have enough damage to deal with those flies without having to try and get famine to do it for you. Try not to get hit by the triple shot. And we get ourselves an orbital. This is going to be a good, um, I suppose a good source of damage for the early game and possibly into the late game, but it does run the risk of you know, causing us to take damage as we completely foolishly walk into enemies. Some of which do have a sort of a slightly erratic movement pattern, so we can't necessarily sort of predict that the enemy that we're trying to cube of meatify is about to walk into us. That's a perfect time for a spirit heart because, ooh, and Sagittarius is also a very nice pickup. It's a speed upgrade, but also it's, um, it's piercing shots. And I think I'm just going to leave now. We don't have any money, so there's no real point going to the shop. We could get some benefit out of exploring the rest of the floor, but at this stage, there's such a small amount of gain to be had doing that, mostly because there's not very much floor left. We won't get many points for it, so why do it? Uh, we could have found another Tinted Rock, maybe, if we'd explored the rest of the floor, but we might as well just go a little bit faster. We've got the whole run to do. Um, all the way to what I presume is the chest, but could easily be the dark room. No point, therefore... One well, Mr. Small, it's fine. No point doing a... Should we put this here and hope? Uh, no point doing a self-sacrifice room, that's for sure. Yeah, that was a very good thing. In fact, I'm actually going to use the other bomb to get the other two keys. Seems sensible, but nice and quick. It's just about that right level of speed where you can feel good for having some speed behind you, but not so fast that you start to overshoot and hold the button down too long and walk into enemies that you were... Oh, that was creep. <laughs> they do do creep. You have to be aware of that. And we're doing the boss right now because we have half a spirit heart left to protect us. So that we can basically guarantee ourselves a deal with the devil, which could well be Krampus. Or simply red chests and have no value for us. Yeah, blaze yourself up, see if I can shit. Yeah, do it twice. Third time's a charm? Nah, no such luck. But we're hoping to get some benefit out of our deal with the devil. Beyond the fact that we can then get another deal with the devil in the future. And if it's not very good... It is very good. Uh, we wouldn't have taken it if it wasn't very good, but it was very good. We have five cents. We could possibly go to the shop, but for what? I challenge you. For what reason would we go to the shop in this situation? Um, my fingers are pressing buttons that are causing my brain to be surprised at the way my character is moving. So maybe I should sort of try and get my, my brain and my body to do the same thing rather than working at cross purposes. Uh, might be a good start. There's nothing in the shop that I really care for. We don't have a spacebar item, so we wouldn't want a battery. We've got plenty of consumables, except for coins. So we can afford one consumable and nothing else. Five keys now. That really sorts us out for quite a long time. We have got enough bombs to even think about looking for the um, secret room, which is probably right next to us here. There we are. I mean, often the secret room doesn't actually have four sides. It usually has three. We could spend a bomb to go to the shop and just see what there is, but I don't even really care if we find a spirit heart at this stage. That was excellent. They, hadn't, uh, they didn't have a 
frame or two of invincibility when they spawned, and they spawned in such a tight cluster that one of my Sagittarius shots just owned the shit out of all of them. We will take Rotten Baby. Rotten Baby is a great item. Uh, I dare say it could have re-rolled into something outstanding. But who cares? Some part of me says that this is a super secret room. Some part of me is wrong, and some part of me needs to think about what he's done. Do some lines, sit in the corner. Yeah, Rotten Baby will be producing flies for us on a fairly regular basis. Every two seconds, I believe. Provided there is not already a Rotten Baby fly on the uh, screen. Which uh, is kind of a limiting factor to Rotten Baby, but as long as the flies are being used, it's a very steady stream of damage. It's like having Eve's Mascara, except the shots home themselves, and you can also shoot normally as well. Because it's double damage. 1.5 times tier damage is each fly. And they're coming out very irregularly. Well, very slowly, I should say. Not irregularly. Quite regular indeed, if we uh, allow them to. We'll probably come back this way, so I'll be a bit lazy about that coin. I'd like to try and work on my going faster game. Fear shot is okay. I'm kind of wanting for some damage upgrades because although it's not a problem right now, it won't be long before it is. That was actually really badly timed. Entirely my fault, but still badly timed. The reason I haven't taken that Eternal Heart, apart from the fact we're obviously going back for it, um, is because I'm kind of banking on finding maybe a Demon Judgment or just a normal Blood Bank. And if we took the Eternal Heart, we'd lose it. So I am actually going to avoid it for now, just in case. I mean, it's not uncommon that you find Demon Judgment sort of randomly sticking around. And the fact that this is not a secret room has blown my mind. I pretty much don't know what to do now. Um, everything that I thought was true has shown themselves to be false. Uh, <laughs> my world is in turmoil. Plus, though. Avoiding these is easier if you do it on a sort of an orthogonal axis because you don't have a weird uh, perspective thing going on that means you have to dodge the shadows rather than the bullets. Which is to say, the shadows and the bullets are basically in the same place if you are horizontal or if you're vertical to it. This is a pretty good upgrade to squeeze. It gives us a couple of spirit hearts as well. Thank you for that. Um, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna say I'm just gonna go. It was so fast. I feel like exploration may be worth our time. Especially if we can use Cube and Meat to get through these rooms a bit faster. I did say I want to work on my speed game, but what I mean there is that I'd like to get better at just powering through each individual room rather than lingering, taking longer than I need to to beat the enemies, etc, etc. Well, this is good. It means if we do find something that we can spend our Eternal Heart on, we don't have to spend either of them because we can actually just get one straight up HP upgrade. And I think spending a bomb to get an Eternal Heart is well worth doing. I mean, you spend a bomb to get a Spirit Heart, would you not? And I'm about to try. Or Small Rock would be really good. No, not to be. That's okay. Um, I would like to get Small Rock. Or any sort of damage upgrade, really. Uh, because at this stage it's not a problem. We've got a decent rate of fire. And Sagittarius is allowing us to hit several enemies at once, which is really speeding up some of these rooms with... That was a really bad place to stand, it turns out. These rooms are several enemies on them we can um, get a lot of advantage out of Sagittarius out of because it, every time it hits another enemy it's that much more um, DPS out of that individual shot. But it won't last. At some point we're going to be trying to figure out how to get better. This is either one way of getting much better or much worse. Okie dokie. Kind of glad we didn't telepills into the boss, uh, into a... Um, error room there. Wouldn't have been too bad, we are on our way down, but I'd like to look in here first. I will take this. So I'm glad I did. It will. It's early enough that Humbling Bundle would give us a decent amount of benefit out of all the consumables that will drop in future. I'm going to try and see if I happen to lose my Golden Heart before I go into the Cursed Room, because I don't want to find that... I don't want to find out that I don't know something, and that that something is how they work. Balls of Steel. Retro it's kind of the opposite of what I wanted, because I was going to assume if I went to the cursed room, our um, golden heart would pop outside of it, and then when we left, there'd be a load of money on the ground for us. Now, 
I'm fairly convinced that it will actually pop when we leave the curse room and all the money will be on the inside of the curse room. That was a very risky way of doing that. I thought, you know, try and make the most out of Cuban Meat's protection, but uh, maybe I shouldn't have. That's Kidney Stone. Kidney Stone's a great item, uh, as long as you're paying attention to when it's activating, because you stop shooting for a reasonably... It's, it's not a long, long period, but it, it can feel like a long period. And then, you know, you let rip. And we're done. Good, good. Oh, we don't have a trinket, we might as well. I'm not going to spend any of our keys on getting into what... Wait, 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 wait. There are two things on the map that say they are locked rooms. So one of them is either a library or something else. So let's let's backtrack a little bit. We're going really fast. We're on Flooded Caves 2. Just found the boss. Not being hit on this entire floor, which is kind of annoying because I'd like to get some benefit out of this um, golden heart. So this is a library, which is great because we don't actually have a space bar item at all. Question is, which one do we actually take? I kind of feel like we should take Necronomicon. It's not the hugest, most valuable item, you know, ever made, but at the same time, it's slightly more valuable, in my opinion, uh, than the other two. There is a boss trap room, which we're not going to be able to go to unless we can find a way of spending our HP. And unfortunately, we didn't actually come down here with enough money to spawn an ar arcade. So, we're in a mild, I wouldn't call it predicament, it's not like we're in a difficult situation, but... We don't have a way of losing our HP unless we get a deal with the devil in order to go to the boss trap room. And I'm guessing that the secret room is not next to it, but it could be. It's not going to be, because there's no way there could be a door there, which is a bit of a shame. Secret room here. Uh, probably worth a try, but at the same time it didn't work out. So in hindsight, not worth a try, but if I knew before I did it that it wouldn't be worth a try, I wouldn't have tried. That makes perfect sense. Dark one, don't stand there. Pro tip, don't stand there. Pro tip, don't do what I'm doing at all. If you can cause him to... Ooh. Do the uh, brimstone attack at the right period of orbit of your orbital. Where is my deal with the devil, by the way? Can we... Just... Screw it. Uh, if you can get him to do the brimstone attack at the right point of your orbital orbiting, you can do a lot of damage, but we didn't. It keeps him still, basically, is what we're trying to get at here. And being still is a great way of... Ah, we have to charge up the kidney stone, don't we? So you have to make sure that it's charged up. It's kind of like suddenly you've got Monstro's Lung and you weren't expecting it and you're not quite sure how long it lasts for and what your charge time is like. We'll go in here. What have we got? Hey, was. It doesn't actually help for the first time that I'm actually paying enough attention to wonder whether it does us any good. It doesn't. But we can take some solace in the fact that I was paying enough attention to even ask the question. <laughs> I'm kind of saving my Necronomicon. It's, it's got one of those... It's got an odd form of too good to use in that it's not good enough to use. Like if I'll use it here, basically. What I'm thinking is that it can do a decent amount of damage to a room that I'm actually concerned about, but the rest of the time, it's not worth using. It's not good enough to be worth using on rooms that I'm perfectly content with. So the best it can do is speed up a room or help us with a room like the greed fight where we want to make sure we get through it kind of quick sharpish we haven't found our item room so don't go away don't go down straight away but stride away but at the same time don't we don't need to rush we don't need to not do this until we find our item i think we can beat monster 2 perfectly well we're at 12 and a half well nearly 13 minutes kind of um ooh got a little bit confused there, again, because that kidney stone was firing and I forgot that we have to use both halves of our brain at the same time. I'll come out in a minute. Yeah, I was going to see if we could sell a bunch of our HP and then get a bit more of a benefit out of, uh, yeah, we'll take this. Out of Magic Mush, we're not going to get much more of a benefit than all the benefits Magic Mush gives us, which is a big benefit. Let's not pretend that Magic Mush is a bad item. I just wanted to wonder if maybe we could uh, scum up the deal with the devil. For HP and then get some back. I wish we didn't. But... Oh, you're joking. I kind of don't like Epic Fetus. If it's as good a run as the one we've got right now, there's almost literally no point taking Epic Fetus. Um, 
it's it's OP as shit. You know, we infinite bombs and all that. But it's not just that, but it's kind of boring. Well, I didn't handle that properly. Yeah, yeah, take this. Um, it's not very interesting. Although, it would be great to have any bomb at all right now. I hope someone didn't just come into my house. I heard the... Uh, you know when the whole house shakes because someone's closed the door? But in terraced houses like we have, you tend to feel it through from other people's doors as well. So I just heard uh, a door close. Because I've got headphones on, I'm at the back of the house. Could be anyone. Why am I keeping this? No reason. Let's just uh, put it here. It's not a crawl space. This is not a room at all. We didn't get a single bomb. Which is a shame because we can't... Well, it's not that big a deal. What are you saying it's a shame? We can't find a secret room. We can't get a little bit of a play out of the thing where we get more bombs. Fine. Not bothered. Let's leave. We've got plenty of time to get... Excuse me. Plenty of time to get down to the next floor. Get to boss rush. We're going really fast. And that's kind of gratifying. I appreciate the, uh, the opportunity to go really fast. Pandora's box on this floor is not very good. But on the next floor it is. And cute as it is to have... Well, I'll tell you what we could do though. I've had a thought. Why am I even doing this? Cute as it is to maybe try and um, get some value out of... What do we have? Kramps' head? I'm wondering whether we just sort of don't worry about it too much. Oh, now we've got the other fetus. <laughs> Again, I'm not going to take it. Um, I actually find that Dr. Fetus is not as... It's obviously not as good as Epic Fetus, but at least it's more controllable. Because it shoots bombs rather than uh, airstrikes. And it is free infinite bombs, etc. You can get all the stuff that would otherwise be gated by bombs. Absolutely. And we haven't had a bomb since we saw those. So it's not like we can try and do the right thing here. But I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to go and get Kramp's head. We're going to fight Boss Rush with it. And we're going to keep hold of our Hermit card, whereupon we'll leave. Finish the floor. When we've beaten Boss Rush, not... Uh, I don't really want Pulse Room. It's all the same to you. So we don't want Pandora's Box until the next floor, basically. And we will be leaving Kramp's head behind for the later game. But I think I do want to come out of this boss trap room and go sort of back into... Where's our huge tears gone, by the way? Um, I do want to come back into the floor and explore it a little bit more, see if we can get some more benefits out of it. Because we're going to be pretty well off the time. Irrespective of how long it takes us to beat boss rush, which could be a while. We're not extremely powerful right now, which is odd. What just hit me? Can we talk about that? There is nothing on the screen and I took damage. Maybe I walked into a fly? I don't know. We're done here. We are going up. Fat odd mush is worth taking. Uh, we will use this as often as possible. Just to improve. That was a long, long flight just now. And I'm not pleased with it. I feel like we lost damage at some point, And I don't know what I did. So, can we have it back please? Because when I picked up Magic Mush, I had giant tears. Huge, giant, massive tears. We do want to get to Hush. Which is making me worry for how much, you know, actual time we've got. How much speed we're... You know, DPS. It's the DPS game again. How are we going to beat this many bosses? Half of them I can't even fucking see. Uh, if I can't... Can you hit? You can hit. Good. Oh, man. If I can't do enough damage to them, how am I going to get to Hush, basically? When you start firing, it's probably Matt's Kidney Stone. Do something about it. Oh, fuck you. That was perfectly on target to beat the shit out of this Joker. And instead, you have to do the turny one that hits nobody. Who's that benefiting, huh? Who's that helping? The antisocial bastard. Oh, yeah, he's disappeared just at the point where I... Getting the massive amount of DPS from Matt Skittingstone. Thanks. Jackass. Don't know if, um... Don't know if we really get any benefit... Out of... I've forgotten what I'm saying. Never mind. Let's move on. This is bad. 
Where is it? Oh, it beats it. Um, I'm hoping we can go a little bit faster. Oh, I'll tell you why our tears are so big. It's because we took a bunch of damage on that specific floor. So now they're obviously getting bigger and we're doing better. We haven't found any blood banks yet. No. Jesus. So we haven't been able to sort of get any benefit out of either literally just that blood bank on just that floor or in the more general case finding the IV bag. I'm going to keep taking damage though. We're going to be getting through this a lot faster than we started. And we're doing some pretty decent damage to start with, you know, without the bloody lust sort of retribution effect of increasing our damage. Not a fan of this though. Ah, now this is a, a very good situation in which to be fighting Carrion Queen. Apart from the fact that she just died for no reason on the other side of the map. Having piercing shots for that boss is splendid. And that was also splendid, even though it did the trolley rotator thing once again. Let's deal with the stain first, I think, because the stain is going to control the map to a considerable degree. Can we um, take less damage there? Is that an option? Our range is decent as well, so we can stay out of the way of these bastardized enemies. We've got some good value out of that too, but I would have liked to see better value. If it could stop rotating, which is probably one of the most annoying <laughs> new features of Afterbirth. Dark Bum would be great though, if you want to sort of finish this off on a, a high note. Definitely benefit from Dark Bum. Looking for a... Uh, Looking for not standing in the worst possible place when it jumps, but also we want to not be near it. Kind of a difficult enemy to deal with in many situations. Oh, this should be simple, though. You can see how having uh, piercing shots, even when there's only... Wrong bum, but nice try. Uh, even when there's only... One real enemy on the screen, it's nice to have the piercing shots, because you just feel like you're in control of everything. Uh, I think that'll do. We could get five bombs for 15 cents. We could get five bombs for 15 cents. That may actually be worth doing. I did it, everyone. Mum, I did it. Might as well pick this up again. Uh, we're going to go and get whew, uh, the uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, Pandora's box because it will give us an item on the next floor. And I think I'm just going to straight away use it on the next floor. I'm fairly sure there are better ways of using it, but I'm not going to sweat those. 20 minutes and we're just leaving this floor, which gives us plenty of time to... Well, we're not just leaving this floor, but we're thinking about leaving this floor. We're basically done. Glad I came this way. The curse room could be good for us. It's not... It's, it's not bad for us. It's probably not worth the cost of entry. We've got seven bombs now. We'll put one down here. Basically guaranteed to be the secret room based on what was on the other side of it. You stepped, then fired at me, and I was going, I am safe as all shit right now. No, dumb friend. Why did I even bring you? Because you've got pills for me. Oh, jeez, thanks. One. Let's get a little bit smaller. Whatever. Uh, uh, 21 minutes. So it took us a bit longer than originally anticipated. I probably won't visit that last room. It's probably useless. We could try and explode those to get some... HP, but I'm feeling I'm fine about our HP. Ah, glass of water. It's, um... We've got plenty of it. The only real difficulty with the HP right now is that... Um, we... We're in a position where we're kind of more reluctant to spend it than... We ever have been. Even though we need to, to get our damage up. Because obviously our damage has suffered greatly just by virtue of me having... That was very scary. Uh, <laughs> come down to this floor. Sure, pay out with shit trinkets that no one wants. Why did I take this particular joker? Ah, uh, it was on the floor at the time. Where's our two bombs? Nice enough. Someone has explode, uh, exploded those for me, and we'll use this here. We've got a tears upgrade, which is pretty good, and the evil up from a matchbook is not really... I don't think it does a, a damage upgrade or anything like that, but... Yeah, keep paying out with spirit hearts, actually. If you're going to nick my coins... You might as well swap him for Spirit Hearts. I'm happy with that. So sometimes I'm learning I'm learning about the wound. And I haven't played since the last time I showed you that I played. But I'm thinking that a lot of the time you basically don't want to be firing when you enter the floor. That was a 
very good shot, by the way. It completely put itself in the position like where I wanted to dodge. Uh, Telepills could get us out of maybe the curse room. Possibly into uh, a trap room. No, an uh, error room. And the error room could be good, I don't know. Plenty of keys. Bob's right on head. Why not? We don't have a space bar item anymore because we uh, we exchanged Krampus's head for two items. And I'll be honest, the items that we... This fucking room, though. That we exchanged it for are pretty decent. I don't know if they're that decent. What's Bob's rotten head going to do for us? I guess not cost us bombs every so often. Maybe if we wanted to try and find a secret room, we throw it at the wall and hope for the best. We do have piercing shots. I don't think that prevents us from getting a secret room. Nah, it would have gone through the wall if it was going to. So let's get a press on. We want to get to hush. We're not really in a hush it's capable run, which is a bugger because we could die on hush and I would be prepared to die on I prepare myself and I am preparing myself to die on hush so you should prepare yourselves for the same outcome and then when it comes to pass we will still be sad but we will not be melancholic you know we can mourn the run but we can know that it did its best in the situation that the prediction I have made comes to pass. That was bad because, of course, there's nothing there and I wanted to get that tinted rock. Well, it's not going to be here. Doing okay for once. I hated the, uh, the other room with these in because I backed into an enemy <laughs> having, you know, been targeted by one. Suddenly I find myself backing into another one. This is shit, though. What the heck? Glad we got that spirit heart because it actually kind of saved us. Ooh! Bad times. Genuinely thought that I was not standing on that. We've got to deal with the devil. The deal with the devil contains Sister Maggie and an enemy. We can't um, re-roll this, and I'm probably not going to take it. So, fuck you, devil. You have screwed everything up once again. I think we'll just leave. We've done probably the most interesting room, which is the four chest boss trap room. Uh, and the boss room itself. What? <laughs> you fired exactly the right time, you bastard. I find sometimes I think that the damage I take is ridiculously bad. You know, I'm just shit at the game and I'm failing horribly at simple mechanics. And sometimes the enemies are just such good shots and it makes me sad. So we've got um, Rotten Baby here just checking out flies, which are doing a decent amount of damage. Of course, as we take damage, they will be doing more and more damage. But it's the fact that they, you know, lock on to enemies is probably the nicest part. Of that. I was going to search for a super secret room on the previous floor, but I did forget. That was great. <laughs> you can do that anytime. Any day of the week. Uh, watch out. <laughs> Just stand in the corner and pray. Hope for the best. Ah, another situation where... Sagittarius has made the room considerably easier than it had any right to be. Uh, I think I'll just use a bomb here. I kind of want to use Bob's Rotten Head, but at the same time I kind of don't, so... Don't really care about damage here. We're not likely to get a deal with the devil based on the fact that we just got one. Let's let the flies do this. There we go. And then we can let go of this now, when it matters the most. We do have the Polaroid, but permanent Polaroid invincibility will not be doing us any favours. Uh, got so long. Oh, fuck it. We need to do this. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to, but be prepared for me to have some terrible, terrible dodges as I'm, you know, used to. And to end up in a shitty situation. Diplopia is here, so what we should do is we should check to see whether there's something that will benefit us from having two of it. Possibly, maybe we want to let this particular chappy collect all these and maybe give us a spirit heart. It did not give us a spirit heart. The flight helps. Uh, there is a spirit heart in here. So I suppose we buy. We don't really benefit from two night lights. I don't think we benefit from two epiphoras. Epiphoras? But I also don't think I benefit from this too much. Now is that 
Lost Protector or Friend Zone? Because one of them is pretty good as an orbital, an offensive orbital. We are going to the chest, so I will take this. Oh, that's Pew Pew the Jeep Plates, you dumbass. Alright, fine. That's just a straight up upgrade then, I'm happy with that. Uh, maybe I should have left... Oh, I couldn't avoid taking the Eternal Heart, because of course the Eternal Heart came from flight. Which will help us in the future, but not in the present, unfortunately. Now our damage leaves something to be desired. Because we're not really chewing this guy up as much as I'd like to be. Can we talk about how our uh, shots are going all over the fucking place, though? Do they get more and more widespread as our kidney stone becomes more and more likely to clock? That would make sense. Some sense, anyway. Right, now we just don't get hit a lot for about 20 fucking minutes. Again, some chance of dying here. When uh, when Matt's kidney stone procs like this, it's possibly a good idea to hold on to it until you've got a reasonable chance of letting all the shots hit the hush. So if you think you're going to be dodging around whilst the kidney stone effect is active, oh, got hit. Not good. Does improve our damage somewhat, but probably not enough to make me happy that I got hit. There. Now the Eternal Heart, which I'm pretty guaranteed to lose. It could. I think it's likely to put us on a half-heart interval, so there's a chance that we can finish this fight using the uh, permanent Polaroid invincibility effect. I wouldn't... I don't want to, because <laughs> it means that we'd be down on half an HP trying to finish the fight. But unfortunately, that would be the only opportunity we have to use the orbital at all. If I had to be any... Uh, I have to make a guess, use my expert opinion, which is basically what I'm here for. I don't mind using Matt's kidney stone in that situation, because those flyers can be super annoying. I'm, I'm sensing there's going to be some uh, continuum shots in my future, so I want to watch out for those. Oh, no, not continuum. In fact, this is a great time to do it. It's always a great time to do it, what are we talking about? Here they are, here they are, watch out. Can we get in a position where it's not going to hurt us too much? Yes. Am I confident with this position? No. Yes. Not confident until proven otherwise, I guess. Uh, I'm not going to be standing here, though. Yikes. If you stand in the corner, sort of where they're fanning into, should be fairly safe, but it kind of helps if the hush is in the middle of the room at the time. Because it, it gets thrown off completely if the hush is not in the middle of the room, and those spreading out shots are... Oh shit. Just stand still. We're safe. Yeah, we're safe. Whew. Are we still safe? Yes. For some values of safe, in which I mean help. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm scared. Oh, fudge! Quick. Get a shitload of shots in. We've got a little bit more damage now. We did get hit. Honestly, the uh, Sagittarius is really helping with these waves of mobs that it likes to fling at us. And it's probably going to help with this section as well, because it pops out these fucking bullshit assholes. Which is the literal name for them. Check the wiki. And we've got to dodge all these, and those nubs as well, shooting triple shots at us. Which only shoot triple shots at full health, of course, when they're at less than full health. They're perfectly content to do what the fuck they want. Shoot directly at you. Sometimes two shots. So yeah, it's just stand here. I'm not scared. Are you scared? You wuss. Fire. Yes. That's a lot of damage right there. Are we happy? No. We did do... S we got hit one more time, which I'm okay with. We are at a half heart interval, as uh, predicted, as anticipated. If the hush could just can keep continue stepping up to the plate rather than uh, cowering. Somehow we did it. I did predict that we would not, and I was wrong. And I'm happy to have been wrong. We lost our eternal heart, but I was also happy to have done that. No secret room on this floor, but we got through it <laughs> against all odds. Didn't take as many hits as I expected. I think I got hit three times. And that's a pretty good show, because it's very easy to get hit multiple times on a hush fight. We can fly, so we don't need to worry about this blood on the ground. 
Our damage is not the sort of damage I would expect a hush fight to go well with. Does that make sense? Because obviously when we joined the floor, we haven't been hit. All of our all of our damage came from the hits we took on hush and the damage we arrived with. But we've got our... Uh... No, we haven't. <laughs> it, it didn't turn out to be Diplopia, so we haven't got Diplopia. We don't have a Yarrow Rune, which could have been really good for us. So we're not going to get a huge amount of awesome out of the chest, but that's okay. You, know, you can't win them all. You can win them all. Some people basically make a living out of winning them all, but personally, I can't win them all, and I don't try. You know what? Have this. There we go. Might as well make some use of Bob's Rotten Head. It is all we've got going for us right now. Ah, that's probably a little bit mean on the actual run itself. Kidney Stone is... It's one of those things you can't rely on. Except for that you can sort of rely on it... You can rely on the fact... Bear with me. That <laughs> you can, at some point, rely on it. It's going to happen, is what I'm saying. You will get Kidney Stoned. Whether it happens on a really, really useful room for you, or whether it happens on a, an okay room, you, know, some, you can't predict that. You can't explain it. But, Kidney Stone's going to fire at some point, and whenever it does fire, it's not going to be a bad thing. This is a shit room, literally. It's got a rainbow poop in it. It's a full health poop, but I want to stay at my half heart interval now, because we are going to fight Isaac with Bob's Rotten Head, and that's Kidney Stone, which I'm going to wait to use because we can get... The actual Kidney Stone itself does a great amount of damage, which is basically why I waited there. So, I mean, it's on long fights like this that you can rely on Matt's Kidney Stone doing you some value, because all you have to do is assume that it will happen once or twice during the fight, and you've already got more value out of it than you would ever have got from not having it. Uh, pardon? Excuse me, then. What? Not doing a huge amount of damage right now, which is a bit of a shame, but we have got him to the easier phase, which is basically just a matter of getting in the right corner while you can. And if Matt's Kidney Stone wants to charge up sort of while I'm waiting for those beams of light to, uh, pardon me, to activate, to finish the screen walk, do you always fire one at me? Because this is just taking the piss. I know we're always learning, but come on some point, you've got to admit that you're putting your shots in bullshit positions, Isaac. Got a little bit scared there, thinking I don't, I'm definitely in the right corner. I was, but still. Uh, yeah, screw it. I mean, we could get some exploration bonus, and of course, not just exploration bonus, but the bonus for beating the rooms that we explore, but mostly, I just want to open these chests and see what we win. Ten bombs ain't helping no one. Experimental treatment has previously completely ruined a run and could do so now. Papa Fly is shit. Ten bombs is ten bombs. Demon Baby's okay, but it's not really the uh, game winner that we were hoping for. I think I just collected a shot with Cuban Meat. Not on purpose. No, no. And I <laughs> ignored the fact just now that that was happening. Let's try and get ourselves to some higher levels of money as well, so we get a good swag bonus and allow Bum Friend here to. Yeah, give us whatever he wants to give us out of the remaining money. I think we've reduced our rate of fire, but I think our damage still seems okay, so it doesn't actually seem like that much of a problem, and of course... Oh, that's handy. Um, we are going to find... These are mine. Well, uh, as long as our damage goes up, we get more value out of... Um, shit me, what the hell? Where do I stand? We get more value out of Rotten Baby, and we get a lot of value out of Matt's Kidney Stone, because I think that always fires with the same rate. That was a difficult room. Not a fan of that. Not going to pick those up just yet. We've got um, Humbling Bundle, which is causing all red hearts to be doubles. Uh, okay, you're over there. Fine. Watch the shadows, instead of assuming that they're going to be where they normally are. Fear Shot is often a pain in the ass because any enemy that will jump and teleport will teleport sort of at random. Possibly away from you. Pick up the key. So it makes it that, that just that much more difficult to 
predict where the enemies are going to jump because normally you'd expect them to land on top of you and they didn't. E. coli is shit. Should we just telepills? See what we get. Uh, okay. This should be a fairly easy room with Sagittarius and Bob's Rotten Head. Boom. Although this is a great opportunity for Matt's kidney stone to proc so that we can... Okay. Bounce. Doesn't really do anything for us. Honestly, I don't know where to go. Uh, I'm... Wow, good job. I'm going to guess that it's through this room. I should probably stop taking quite so much damage, if entirely possible. That shot, by the way, was supposed to hit the enemy, but in fact, didn't. I guess we go this way. I feel like any time you've done a big room, you should try and be on the other side of it, because it wouldn't surprise me that the boss was gated by several large rooms like that. So we want to get through them ASAP. I want to kill this thing before it does the jump, because... It's the jumping manoeuvre from these champion versions that is a massive pain in the ass. It does that Fisher thing that everyone hates with a passion. Kind of a shame that the uh, red poops don't dissipate when you leave the room. Because you could easily walk into them. I'm going to go out on a limb and suggest that maybe over here. Uh, that went straight through. Oh, we got special tears from something, didn't we? And don't forget Epiphora causes us to do more damage if we continue to shoot in the same direction. So maybe I should try doing that. It's not about whether we get the shots landed. It's just a matter of how long we continue to shoot in the same direction. Oh, maybe it increases our fire rate. Maybe it's doing our damage. I honestly don't know. I think it might be fire rate, which is not that uh, big a deal right now. We have beaten Blue Baby. And honestly, I think we just take, take that and leave. We could explore the rest of the floor, but we take much more damage than I'm happy with. Yeah, 437. This is a good rank, don't get me wrong, but uh, I was taking a lot of damage. I felt like I was flagging a little bit, and obviously I've been playing this all fucking day. Nope, I haven't played this for quite some time. Uh, but yeah, I got through the hush fight and just sort of relaxed and you know let loose, and then I didn't have to dodge ever again, apparently. So, well, thank you for watching. That was a fun run. I did well enough, and I hope that you enjoyed it too. And if you did... Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more in the future, but until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you.